Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to look at what's trending on the news. And of course, we have Ezugu Chukudi here with us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Olive. Happy Thursday. It's always a delight to have you. Always a delight. Thank you. The federal government on Wednesday unveiled the branding for the new national carrier Nigeria Air and stated that the airline will be inaugurated at the end of this year. Chukudi, will you fly it? Of course, Good. I'm a proud Nigerian. According to a statement issued by the Ministry of Aviation in Abuja, the Minister of State for Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, unveiled the carrier at a press conference during the Fanbro Air Show in London. Sirika was quoted as saying, I'm very pleased to tell you that we are finally on track to launching a new national flag carrier for our country, Nigeria Air. We are fully committed to fulfilling the campaign promise made by our President, Muhammad Buhari, in 2015, and we are aiming to launch Nigeria Air by the end of this year. Now, Chukudi, there are several sides to this conversation. Yes. The first side being that we're excited that finally we have our national air carrier. Is it not a too little, too late? Why are we having it just now? That's the one end. Second end, some people would argue, or some people have argued, some camps are saying that this is all done to scotchy political points. You see, the truth is context, context, context. We can have an hour-long discussion on this, and we would examine different contexts. People have sp spoke about, you know, scoring cheap political points. You also read for in the in the news story that to fulfill the campaign promise of, of President Mohamed Buhari in 2015. 2015. And <laughs> certain people have said, I mean, you say that you own 5%. Do we know those that own the other 95%? And who are the strategic partners in all of this? But context, context, context. And I choose to discuss this because of time. The context of the business and the economy. The truth is, I mean, I, I, it's still ringing in my head. Oh, what happened to Nigeria Airways? Oh, what happened to Virgin Nigeria? I mean, but I my want father to, worked with Nigeria Airways. Yeah, and I mean, it's just, I we grew up to know of all, all I, those airlines. And I also don't want to go about the whole emotional trauma of those that are still waiting to receive their pension. But context, context, context. Now, let's look at this from this context. If and truly we have a government that is committed to ensuring that we fulfill the promises in the best interest of the Nigerian people, good way to go. I mean, you're going to create jobs. You're going to open Nigeria to the world. 81 destinations, five um, aircrafts already. But the truth is, beyond the rhetoric, we must show commitment. Beyond the rhetoric, we must show action. If I say context, 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 and I try to package it and say, oh, we're all going to fly in our Agbada, we'll have the air hostesses in their, you know, Ankara, and we'll serve pounded yam and Nigeria jollof and kunu and zobo. But my mind is telling me that Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. And the only thing I can, that is ringing in my head is failed leadership, failed leadership, failed leadership. So we must go beyond trying to impress because we want to score cheap political points and looking at all of the areas or angles in the matter and try to see that we win back the confidence of the Nigerian people. Because the truth is, you have a lot of people just look at it and say, these people, they are wasting their time. They are deceiving themselves. And it's not just because, oh, it's for certain people, it is because they are under the umbrella or they are not part of the broom. But for some other people, they have looked at successive governments that have embarked on one project or the other and have failed woefully because of a lack of planning. There's and so the many projects that have been on. started that have not been completed I, I in I different parts of Nigeria. I mentioned Nigeria Airways. I mentioned Virgin Nigeria. I mean, people were all excited, but at the end of the day, so what is different in this whole initiative now? So what we must do is ensure that the onus is on government to win back the confidence of the Nigerian people. A lot of people have lost faith in government, and this is not about political affiliation or where you're from. It is as a result of the fact that people that are not even fit to be class captain, or even in a good private school, <laughs> or in, in the time past, you know, the days where our baba them used to go to school, People that were, free, that were not fit to even be class captain because you have to be responsible to preside over the administrative affairs of the class are now running government. And what do they do? Amala politics. You owe salaries for several months. And Such then on, a shame. on the eve of the election, you send this thing. You buy vote buying and the rest of them. So as Nigerians, we must begin to participate in the process. We always say it is not just waiting for March, the, uh, Fe March February the 16th and March the 2nd, 2019. Oh, we'll go and vote. Government and governance is a continuous process. You must query those that represent your interests. You must hold them to task. And never again will we allow people that have no business in government, people that should not even be in landlord tenant association government, in federal or state government. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.